As you drive along, you may notice that a fence seems to disappear into the distance until there's just no fence left. That's called a vanishing point. And usually it's at the horizon line, which is right at the center point of your eyeball. Whatever you see at the center point of your eyeball is the horizontal line there is the vanishing point. So you can see where the fence goes into the distance. In this case, you're looking at trees. The trees are the same size, but they get smaller as they go into the distance. The final one here is the railroad track, and the rails appear to get closer as they go into the distance. So that's what we're going to learn. All right, here we go. All right, the very first thing you need is the first two lines. You've got to have the two lines to establish the distance between the first two fences. Then the next thing you need is to draw a line from the vanishing point where your road is going to go or where you want the fence to end up. And that line has to be exact. This, your lines have to go from exactly the same point. If they don't, you'll have a wider top and a narrower bottom and you'll wonder what happened. But make sure then that this point is exact. Now, if the bottom of the first fence is here, then you draw your second line from the vanishing point. Now measure between these two points and then make your third line that comes up to the vanishing point. All right, now you're going to take your um, pen and mark from the very corner of the first pole and you come down through the middle line and then wherever this ends up landing shows you where the the second pole is going to go so what we're going to do then that pole ended up here so now we're going to draw the next one here and then draw it here so i'm going to show you how that works right so i'll take my pen this line came down here if I come right through the center of both, it comes like this. Well now, how am I going to get the next line? I turn this like this and put my T-square here so that it's horizontal, it's parallel with this edge. So when I go like this, That gives me where the next one is. Now I turn it back. Now I go to this post and I. And then we turn it around. A T square keeps it square with the edge so you know that it's equal to the top on both sides. So we come here, this was kind of a heavy, heavy T-square. Okay, so these lines will continue to get smaller and smaller as it goes on. We're going to try that one more time with the railroad tracks. If you notice, we had to put the first track down and the second track down. And again, if the vanishing point appeared to be here, we need to have each side of the rail put down first, and then we measure between these two at the halfway point. We take the halfway point up to the exact point here. Make sure that it's just a little tiny point. All right, now we come from the first two lines. We take from this corner here through the center of this to the next, to where it ends up on this line. We draw a horizontal line here, and then we come from here, the next one over here, over like this, and that gives us this line, the next one right here, and this, and we will be perfectly even. So what do you think? Isn't that simple? You know, I've tried to figure it out for a long time over the years. And it's as simple as that. Hope you had fun. And try it yourself. You might like it. Bye-bye.